You haven't found your way here by accident. It's a unique and meaningful connection meant to deliver the impactful message of Apostle Joshua Selman to your doorstep. This message carries the potential to not only bless you, but also inspire you for greatness. Open your heart wide and allow your mind to embrace the richness of this transformative message. Before we delve further, I extend a warm invitation for you to actively engage with this significant message. Join in by liking the video, sharing it with those in your circles who might find it. I pray for you in the name of Jesus, every altar that sponsors hatred, that sponsors trouble, that sponsors limitation by the power that raised Christ from the dead, it is destroyed now. You don't have to come out, but I want to pray for you. There is someone here, your father has a case with EFCC. And if we don't pray for you with what I'm seeing, they are going to jail him. I don't know who that person is. You don't have to come out so that you avoid any embarrassment. But in the name of Jesus, I don't, I'm not a, 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 a government worker. I don't know how it works there. But for God to have revealed it, we declare mercy right now. Agree with me. We declare mercy right now. In the name of Jesus. Who is sitting on what belongs to you? In the name of Jesus Christ. Please receive this prayer. I decree and declare. Anyone fighting the prophecy over your life. And sitting where they should not be. I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic. I overturn them. 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 Help them please. I overturn them. In the name of Jesus. Until you sit upon that which is rightfully yours. Whether in the office, whether in politics, I say it again. I overturn tonight. I overturn tonight. I overturn tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Claire, at the count of three, let them go. Release their destinies. One, two, three. Go, go, go. Out of them now. Out of them now. Out of their lives now. In the name of Jesus everything that has been stolen let there be a restoration let there be a restoration let there be a restoration as i pray for them i pray for you everything that has been stolen in the name of jesus restoration supernatural restoration in the name of jesus christ release them now in the name of jesus The Lord is still showing me a family. Your father is a pastor, but there is absolutely nothing that is working in that family. A sincere man of God who loves God, but poverty, failure, shame. This is what has characterized his family. I don't know who that person is. You are a lady in the name of Jesus. Is there someone like that? Please make sure you verify. Let's not just have people coming out carelessly. Your father is a pastor. I want to pray. The devil is a liar. Just put them. They can stand one place anywhere there. I want to pray for them. You see, look at this. You can imagine this kind of demonic mockery. A man who is, who is spending his life serving the Lord. And then the devil will want that nothing works in his life. You see. So it can discourage members. It can discourage people they can say if you are a man of god why are these things not working for you but in the name of jesus you came here for this miracle service tonight i'm praying for you there are so many of you so i will use you as a point of contact every altar speaking against your family right now i stretch my hands upon all of you who are out here at the count of three that fire will fall upon you one two three take that fire 
take that fire take that fire take that fire i decree and declare those altars are set ablaze i release your parents i release your loved ones i release your parents i release your families have them please every altar that has stood as a resistance to the growth of your family be destroyed now i not only pray for them I'm not a banker and I will not I will not say anything that will destroy any bank but there is a particular bank we need to pray for in the name of Jesus I will not mention names but in the name of Jesus we are praying that what the devil is plotting that that bank just goes down overnight may the Lord show mercy in the name of Jesus because with what the Lord is showing me right now, I'm seeing a lot of financial distress. It's still undertone. They are just trying to walk to see how they can manage it. But in the name of Jesus, I am praying for the sake of the mercy of God and for the sake of those who fear God in that bank, both workers and customers, may God preserve it in Jesus' name. <laughs> Jessica. Jessica, who is Jessica? Jessica, this is what I'm hearing. Who is Jessica? Where are you coming from? I just did. Come and stand here, please. Where are you coming from? I want to pray for you. What do you do, madam? Don't be embarrassed. Not Nothing. I want to pray for you. Let me pray for you. Where is your husband? He's outside. He lost his job. Yes. When? Yes. 2017. And from that time, he's not gotten a job again. The one he got, he has been managing it. He's nothing to write home about. From the when he is he here? Yes, because of there's no space. He's of course, I understand. Outside. It doesn't matter. He doesn't have to come. Husband, wherever you are, you are seeing your wife on camera. Just stand by faith. If we say he should come now. We may waste time. Do you believe God can visit him? Yes. Madam, what do you do? I'm a businesswoman. I want to pray for you. I believe in miracles, so I truly believe. Hallelujah. Jessica. Your name is not Jessica. Oh. Brother's wife. Huh? Your brother's wife. You're standing in okay. Please don't come out to stand in for anybody. If it's not you, just be patient by faith. Believe wherever you are. Don't worry, I'll pray for you since you're here. Madam, in the name of Jesus, please, why are they here? Are you Jessica? Your name, the name your parents gave you. Okay, so you can stand here. So that we'll save time because we, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Every planting of darkness. I use this once in front as a point of contact. Ah, I'm praying for these people but I'm seeing a lady here. There is a, a ring that is demonic. This is not physical on your hand, but this is demonic. This thing has closed everything that looks like marital doors. The power of God is coming upon you right now. Help them. Help them. This is what I'm seeing. I just saw a ring flashing at me. And the Lord is saying, until that is taken care of, it looks like nothing can... I'm praying. I do... What he says to... Why are you coming out, my dear? Listen to what I'm saying first okay don't worry my dear look at me just calm down you are not carrying a physical ring huh? just be patient in the name of jesus i decree and declare i'm not saying those who are looking for marital miracles that's not what i'm saying i'm sharing with you a vision understand the vision first before you come out it's not an issue of coming out it's an issue of standing where you are and the power of god touching you in the name of jesus those who are there don't worry let them not be embarrassed just leave them to come once they are already here, just, just let them be. Let them come. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God, I pray right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, every demonic thing, any kind of satanic engagement, that anyone here, if there is any strange marriage, 
aha uh -huh, that is not of god any demonic kabarakatos kediata every fraternity that has tied you in the spirit help that woman in the name of jesus i call upon the lamb upon the throne we dissociate that demonic marriage now we dissociate that demonic marriage now please help them my god we dissociate that demonic marriage now strangers of the night that come to visit you while you sleep molesting you and spying upon your liberty right now i stretch my hands anyone here who is a victim of those things be delivered now and for all of the jessicas who god called out here in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead everything that is an embargo over your life and your destiny and your family i hereby release you now i hereby release you now that mockery and that shame over your life i release you now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare for some of you between now and the end of august the way god will visit you and turn things around in your life please believe it i declare it in the name of jesus christ god bless you god bless you thank you there there is um i don't know if i should ask them to come out now but i am seeing a unique grace from this service that is coming upon people who are into construction there is a grace those who are construction building there is a grace in the name of jesus i don't know who is into that whether your business or you work with a firm there is the grace there and i decree and declare right now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god father upon all these ones i declare may your power rest upon them right now may your power rest upon them right now that what god will do within one month will surprise you many of you will surprise you in the name of jesus christ i'm not a prophet of doom but i want us to pray i'm seeing an attack in a particular mall in the name of jesus christ we cancel it now don't misunderstand me i don't promote negative prophecies it is because we are a family of faith here yeah, there are many things that i see that i just pray on sometimes god allows us to release these things to edify the body remember dominion is not saying evil will happen and watching it happen dominion is that is god revealing what the devil is doing and then we use the authority of jesus to stop it are we together now the joy is not negative things coming to happen there are only few things in the bible that are called written judgments that means many things, many evils can be stopped. There are few that are called written judgments. For instance, the rapture of the saints and the imminent destruction of those who are not with Christ. There's nothing you can do about that. Once a man dies outside of Christ, you cannot pray and say, let the person repent wherever. No, it's not. We don't see any expression of that in the Bible. Every long-standing issue represented here may this be the season for speedy answers every spirit that is behind the tragic situations written here in the name of jesus we command that that spirit loses his hold now and every human vessel who must come into partnership with heaven for this request to be manifested in your life we compel the ministry of those men in the name of jesus christ i prophesy over your life that this is your season of laughter in the name of jesus he said the lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad then he says turn again our captivity like the streams of the negev i decree and declare every captivity here is thereby turned around if there is anything that is eating up your spiritual life and not giving you room to be vibrant spiritually in the name of jesus christ be restored be restored be restored 
be restored by the power of the Holy Spirit hear me everything that has left heaven but the devil has not allowed it to come to your life by the power that raised Christ from the dead I stand as a prophetic midwife and I push it to find manifestation in your life in the name of Jesus every church here represented every business every firm every organization step into a new season of exploits you shall not go down in Jesus name you shall not be in want in Jesus name I decree and declare our children are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ no one here will have a cause to bury your loved one as you drive on the road you are protected as you fly in the air you are protected as you move by sea you are protected no evil will see you in the name of Jesus Christ for those who are trusting God for manifestations of financial favor I release my faith and I agree with you this week beginning experience strange favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I declare that this week God will put it in the hearts of your helpers to help you God will put it in the heart of your lifters to lift you in the name of Jesus Christ finally let me pray for you the mantle of honor that compels for influence and loyalty in the name of Jesus may that grace rest upon you I feel led to pray for people who are trusting God for structural establishment a house a car if you don't believe it allow those who believe it to receive but in the name of Jesus for anyone trusting God for structural establishment in 30 days from now in the name that is above all names and I say this prophetically may my God surprise you beyond your savings beyond your current resources may my God surprise you houses you did not build vehicles you don't have the money to pay for let favor bring it to your doorstep hallelujah hear me you have any gift upon your life that can announce you to the nations but who to connect with may be what is missing i pray for you right now that gift stops being silent from today that gift stops being silent from today those who need your gift may they find you those who need your gift may they find you those who can reward you for your gift may they find you in the name of Jesus therefore I declare over these requests by the power of the Holy Spirit the next request you will be writing will be for others not for yourself again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray amen and amen amen and amen amen and amen, amen. the hands that are lifted no power will bring them down your hand represents your productivity I say it again the hands that are lifted not by witchcraft not the wickedness of men not the antagonisms of negative people no power will bring your hand down no power will silence your voice surely they will gather but they will not sustain the ability to diminish your influence in the name of Jesus Christ finally let me pray for you and I want you to receive this whatever makes you use your money to service sickness use your money to service police cases court cases you never have the opportunity to enjoy the blessings of God upon your life that God has been faithful but your money is always used to resolve tragedy from today may tragedy be too late for your life did you hear what I said may tragedy be too late for your life too late for your life too late for your business too late for your ministry too late for your family in the name of Jesus Shout a sevenfold amen.
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Give Jesus a hand clap of praise and a shout of victory. Hallelujah. Because you have believed it, prepare to come and stand here testifying. Because you have believed it, prepare to stand here to testify. In Jesus' name I pray. Keep standing everyone. You, anyone here trusting God for a job, I bow my knees to the God of our Father and I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, by next miracle service, return with your employment letter. And hear me, believe in prophecy. Anyone who has a job that is fighting your relationship with God, not allowing you go to church, not allowing you serve God, that the only way to remain in that job is to compromise. May God relocate you to another job. In the name of Jesus. There is a grace for influence and visibility. That grace can pick you from your room and can cause the nations to know you. We are privileged stewards of that grace. And in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I place that anointing on your life. Believe it, I place that anointing on your destiny. Strangers will look for you. From across the nations of the earth, may they find you. They will not rest till they find you and bless you and announce you and honor you in the name of Jesus. Anyone who has called you the black sheep of any family, anyone who has called you the reason for shame and reproach, may my God, by his hand upon your life, may he vindicate you this season. Koinonia, anyone called barren, prepare for your children coming. I say it again, anyone called barren, this is the year you carry your children. of your people let there be miracles in the name of Jesus are you releasing your faith with me let there be miracles in the name of Jesus let there be miracles in the name of Jesus let there be miracles in the name of Jesus miracles of fruitfulness miracles of advancement miracles of restoration miracles of strength job opportunities marital open doors celebration of children twins and triplets and quadruplets opportunities to relocate abroad as your destiny requires restoration of marriages restoration of sick people some of you have lost money you have lost opportunities we command restoration Strategic relationships that you have lost, may God restore. Koinonia, shout Amen. May God restore. What happened to Esther that lifted her? May it happen to you. Ah, someone who has faith to believe. What happened to Esther that took her from Shushan to the palace? May it happen to you. What happened to Ruth? May it happen to you. What happened to Abraham? that caused Abimelech to give him riches and all kinds of resources, may it happen to you. What happened to Gideon that empowered him to lead an army, may it happen to you. What happened to Lot on account of his connection with Abraham, may it happen to you. Anyone here appointed unto death that according to the plan of hell that this is your last miracle service that by the next one you would have been buried I cancel that statement we cancel that statement cancel that statement for you and your spouse canceled for you and your children canceled for you and your parents canceled I pray for you in the name of Jesus between now and the next two weeks I pray for you everything that will make you laugh 
and celebrate between the next two weeks whatever it is by all godly means i declare may it happen for you everything that will make you celebrate ah sarah said all who hear this will rejoice with me those outside but it applies to everybody whatever god must do to make you laugh i declare may it happen speedily speedily if it's a job may it happen speedily if it's your visa may it happen speedily if it's your house may it happen speedily every family under any cause cause of untimely death cause of failure at the edge of breakthrough now you are going to shout jesus with that one loud shout those altars must give way now are you ready one two three shout jesus be released be released be released be released, be released. Be released. your family be released your business be released your destiny be released everything that concerns you hallelujah what has buried the name of your family the statement Ichabod that it cannot even be heard again a family that was once great known for greatness but it looks like the devil has sat on your destiny I'm talking to three people by the spirit in the name of Jesus right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost I declare may that veil may that veil be torn right now over your family may that veil be torn right now over your family may that veil be torn right now every month you must treat sickness mysterious sicknesses eating up your finances eating up your energy your vitality i don't know who i'm speaking to but by the power that raised christ from the dead that demonic authorization over your body is cancelled now cancelled now the lord is showing me a woman you've not been able to meet your husband abroad because they've denied you visa i don't know if there's such a person i've prayed for a number of people with those cases but the lord is speaking to me about one you've not been able to go and meet your husband you are legally married but you are unable to go and meet your husband because you've been denied again and again and this has caused a lot of tension in your home wherever you are by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name that is above all names we consult the greatest consular general and we declare by the spirit of the living god that this time around may favor speak for you may favor speak for you may favor speak for you i'm seeing someone here your brother currently has been kidnapped your brother you are aware he's been kidnapped you are trusting god for his release i don't know if that person is in this place else i'm going to speak your brother this is what god shows me in a vision is part of those that were kidnapped until now he's not been released in the name of jesus i use this vision as a point of contact to everyone who has been kidnapped by wicked men by the power that raised christ from the dead this week not next week this week in the name that is above all names we declare their release now we declare their release now we declare their release now for everyone who is in front here brought by the spirit of god i decree and declare every spirit that has held you down god brought you by himself right now be released right now be released i decree and declare that as you rise you step into a range a, a level of strange testimonies strange testimonies in the name of jesus christ amen return back to your seat rejoicing 
How many of you are trusting God for supernatural jobs? Just lift your hands and put it down. Let me see. If you don't believe, keep your hand down. You are trusting God that God between now and March, that God can open a stranger. Let me see your hands. I want to pray for you. The prophetic is very powerful. And that includes those from several nations. You've heard testimonies. You can stand for your brother. You can stand for your son. You can stand for your daughter. You can stand for your spouse. I decree and declare. I don't know who is trusting God for a job. For you, for your family. Or a change of job. Because some of you, what you are doing is not really a job. Anything that steals your spiritual life, destroys your health, causes enemies and multiplies your sorrow is not from God. Therefore, I decree between now and the next one month in the name that is above all names and by the power of prophecy from the east to the west, the north to the south, Nigeria and beyond, may God give you a strange testimony. May my God give you a strange testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel stirred in my spirit to speak over the overflow outside. The overflow outside. Please lift your hands. I want to pray for you. I'm praying for everybody. Everybody can tap. But I just sense in my spirit to speak over the overflow outside. Outside. Media, if you can help me. Let me speak over the overflow outside. Those outside, I want you to lift your hands. I don't know why God is asking me to speak Perhaps it is to connect with you to let you know that distance is no barrier. And it doesn't matter up basement, all the other overflows, you can connect by faith. But I'm speaking particularly to those outside. Lift your hands, those outside, I want to pray for you. And I want you to believe by the faith of the Son of the Living God that what God would do in your life will surprise you beyond your imagination. Father, in the name that is above all names. I pray for my people outside. Lift your hands and believe. This is not entertainment. Believe. Believe. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. He said, believe in his prophets, so shall you prosper. The Bible says, despise not prophesyings. Despise not prophesyings. Still keep them. I'm speaking to them. I'm speaking to them. Why God is putting it in my heart to speak to them? I'm speaking to those outside. Sometimes God moves like this to comfort us. To help us see and know that distance is no barrier. Media, are you helping me? In the name that is above all names. The oil of favor. The oil of favor. That can come upon a man's head. That can come upon a man's hand that can come upon his feet and rewrite his story i stretch my hands first from outside and then to all connecting and to those connecting across the globe in the name of jesus listen i tell you with all humility and with every sense of regard to you and to god i know what favor is i know how it works i have seen what the favor of god can do this ministry is evidence that God's favor can rest upon a man. It is such as I have in the name of Jesus to those outside and whoever is tired of struggling, moving from pillar to post and things are not working in ministry, in finances, I pray for you. Receive the oil of favor. 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 Everyone shout this after me. Say, Father, every curse, every enchantment, every demonic arrangement orchestrated by men and by spirits against my life and my destiny let it be destroyed now the kind of honor and favor you have never seen this week may god bring this as a witness to your life in the name of jesus anyone who is in a financial situation now 
I give you one month by prophecy. May the God of all grace bring you out of it now. Every family that has not risen, you have not seen the hand of God, the testimony of God helping men. From your father to your mother to your siblings to you, every one of you in concert receives strange testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus, the gift that the Lord has put within you, I stir it up by the anointing and I declare, may it bring you profiting. 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 What you have been looking for, I command it to start looking for you. Ah, 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 hear this one. What you have been looking for, may it start looking for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every confusion in your life, may the spirit of grace bring clarity to your life now. Everyone who is discouraged and downcast, you are wondering what will become of your life. I want to speak to you. In the name of Jesus, you will have the last laugh in this life. Anyone under the sound of my voice appointed unto death. I declare may death pass over you. May death pass over you. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the country. You are blessed in Abuja. Blessed in Lagos. Blessed in America. Blessed in UK. All over Europe. All over Africa. Return as a sign and a wonder. Return as a testament of God's favor. In the name of Jesus. Let me take a minute and speak over all who have sown seeds, giving, standing with us. I just felt stirred in my heart to do that. People give. The things that you see us do, it is based on the givings, the faithful givings of God's people. And I just felt stirred tonight to pray over everyone who has given, not just here in Nigeria, but across the globe, UK, America, Canada, people have given for our meetings coming. People have given even in the house. People have sown into my life as a man of God. I stretch my hands. God is not a fraudster. God is not a scammer. He doesn't play games with people. In the name that is above all names, you have sown to this ground. It is good ground. Therefore, receive a hundredfold harvest. Therefore, receive a hundredfold harvest. A harvest of prosperity. A harvest of wisdom. A harvest of helpers. A harvest of joy. A harvest of help. In the name of Jesus. May you never do anything alone in your life. God will raise people to stand with you. To stand by you. To stand for you. In the name of Jesus. Quarter to shame. May God raise helpers for you. Now let me speak over your spiritual life. Everything attacking your prayer life. Attacking your word study life. Attacking your zeal and your passion for spiritual things. It dies permanently right now. May your prayer life be fanned back to flames. May your word study life be fanned back to flames. May your passion for the house of God be fanned back to flames. May your appetite for spiritual things be fanned back to flames. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, I call you Beulah and Hephzibah. Beulah and Hephzibah. You are like a well-watered garden. I call you a wealthy place. An oasis springing possibilities. In the name of Jesus. You will not beg and you will not borrow. Yet you will not lack. In the name of Jesus. These hands that are lifted remain lifted forever. They will not go down. The Lord is your shepherd. He will guide you in paths of righteousness. He restores your soul. In the name of Jesus. 
your enemies will not see your back your enemies will not see your face their plans will end as vanity but as for you the Lord is your lifter he will lift your head he will give you speed no delay no retrogression go forward go forward go forward advance progress in destiny i am confident that the sermons you've encountered have been a source of blessings elevating your life and inspiring a heartfelt commitment to serving god wholeheartedly we warmly invite you to subscribe to our youtube channel ensuring you stay connected and never miss any of our upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription represents more than just a click. It signifies a commitment to continuous spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled journey with us as our channel aims to be a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and believers alike. We firmly believe in the transformative power of God's Word, and our goal is to share messages that deeply resonate with your soul. Join our community. Subscribe and let the radiant light of divine wisdom illuminate your path. Thank you for being an integral part of this uplifting journey, and may God's abundant blessings overflow in your life. Amen. You can follow us on all our social media handles at Flaming Channel and visit our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Thank you, and may God bless you abundantly.